Come on, Tim Cowboy! Angry Cowboy, stand on your town the line! What's going on, Cowboys Nation and angry Cowboys fans around the world? It's your man, the Angry Cowboys fan, and we finally have the tea to give to you guys on what happened, the meltdown on the sideline from Sedarius C.D. Lamb. So we're going to go ahead and get into the four clips that I got for y'all, and then y'all know what we're going to do. We're going to come back and unpack this raw and uncut. So... Angry Cowboys fans, let's go ahead and take a listen to the first clip from C.D. Lamb. Uh, obviously, just stay composed throughout the situation, no matter how I'm feeling. I mean, the feelings are going to be the feelings throughout the whole game, right? Uh, feelings go up and down, and we treat this mental, we have this mental conditioning every week, and uh, truly understanding and using that, my practice. Uh, habits and actually those were one of the moments my fault um, where it could have came to fruition and obviously it went the opposite direction and nor was it good for myself or the team very detrimental detrimental excuse me and um yeah I'll make up for it you are absolutely correct CD Lamb your attitude was very detrimental to the Dallas Cowboys in winning that game against the Ravens. If we had your mental in the game from start to finish, who knows what we could have done against the Baltimore Ravens. But because you clocked out and you clocked out early in the game, we ended up losing that game by three points. You got to get it together, CD. But jumping into the second clip that I got for you, C.D. Lamb continues to take accountability and responsibility for his actions on the sideline. So let's go ahead and take a listen to the second clip that I got for you and come back and talk about it. Roll the clip. Man, just being a professional, being a professional about this whole situation, understanding it's a long game. But as for me and my performance, I expect a lot out of myself, uh, more than anyone could put on me. And um Quite honestly, I felt myself, and obviously I felt the team just as far as producing and being that game-breaker player for the team and uh, obviously the guy that they can lean on. And, um, yeah, I, I kind of let it let the game get to my head a little bit. But in the same sense, I knew what I can do. I knew what I bring to the table, and I know what I can do on that field. So uh, with that being said, going forward, there shall be different, a difference. CD, I don't think that I have to tell you this or nobody in Cowboys Nation has to tell you this. But you're the $35 million wide receiver, the second highest paid wide receiver in the league. There is no way in hell that you should be acting like this on the sideline. If anything, you should be prepping the younger receivers that we have on this team so that they could go out there and be dogs as well. They are going to look up to you, CD. All right, Cowboys Nation and Angry Cowboys fans, we are about to get into the third clip from the CD Lamb interview. Let's go ahead, roll that clip. Is that where you were frustrated mostly with just yourself or was it just Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Myself and then like my ability to contribute to the offense knowing what I can do. You know, so um yeah, that played a huge part and once again, can't blame nobody. You gotta start with the man in the mirror and I'm a huge believer in that and um watching that game kinda pissed me off. But hey I, I did that. You know what I'm saying? I can't get mad at nobody else. So uh, with that being said, I've learned. My thing C D is have you really, really and truly learned? Have you learned from this situation? Because if my memory serves me correctly, we were in the same position against Green Bay in the playoffs last year. If we get to the playoffs this year, we can't have you on the field crying and acting a fool like this. Come on, CD. You had your epiphany, but your epiphany came too late. You should notice your red flag before it actually becomes a red flag, CD Lamb. Damn, this is something that I would have to say to my son or my grandson or something. But jumping into the fourth clip that I got for you, we are going to end getting into the mind of C.D. Lamb so I can get into my raw and uncut because, C.D., you deserve it. So let's go ahead and get into this fourth clip. Roll the clip. Now, we understand urgency, um, and that's between us. We talk about it every day, every night, and our relationship has, if anything, gotten stronger. Don't let... 
what what's out there for you. Um, we're brothers to the end. We know that we all we got, and um, I tip my hat off to him. I got the utmost respect for him, and that's I look at him as a brother. Uh, so that with that being said, everything is going to come out. The the energy, the passion, the love, the fight. We're gonna make up in the end. No no craziness now. Don't. CD, I'm sorry, but I got to do this to you. Y'all ready for my raw and uncut? Y'all ready? Let's get it. CD, I don't know if you are familiar with the Angry Cowboys Fan YouTube channel, but I am a fond believer in being my brother's keeper. Whatever my brother goes through, I go through with him. Maybe not physically, but mentally, I go through it with him. So I'm not going to jump on him whenever the times get hard and we are facing adversity. I'm not going to jump on him. I am going to tell him that we can do this. We can bring it together and get this dub as a team. That's what you should have been doing. Pumping those players up on the sideline and being the leader that your pockets would suggest you are. I hate the fact that I am pocket watching right now, but if you're getting paid 35 million dollars you should not be hitting the end zone the way you're hitting the end zone you should not be running lazy routes the way you were running the routes you should not allow the defense to be able to get into your head during the game now the defensive coordinators can they can scheme against you they can scheme the fact that they can take you out of the game physically as well as mentally i've already gotten on you in my last video I don't want to continue to get on to you, but the thing is, you need to hear this, C.D. Lamb. You need to hear this, and with the enablers that you have around you, I don't know if they're going to be able to tell you this, but you got to straighten up. I understand that you're young. This is actually your first contract that you've gone through and that you've successfully gotten from the Dallas Cowboys, but the thing is, you got to pull your big boy pants up. You got to pull your big boy pants up and continue to play complimentary football on the field so we could get this dub. We could have had the dub again the Ravens. If we had you fully aware, fully into the game during that game against the Ravens, we could have had that win. But we didn't have you. The sidelines had you. You played more for the Ravens than you did for us. It was detrimental to the Dallas Cowboys' success. There's a lot of things that's detrimental to the Dallas Cowboys' success, but you don't need to add to them, CD. Come on, bruh. You got Cowboys Nation out here acting crazy. You got Cowboys Nation out here hopeless, thinking that we're not going to get anywhere. We're not even going to make it to the playoffs because our number one weapon is the weapon for the other team. Do you see where we're coming from, C.D. Lamb? I understand that you got on here and that you accepted responsibility and you accepted accountability and everything, but it's your body language. Your body language tells a different story. You get on there and you're like, huh, yeah. I, I take responsibility. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. That's me. Speedy, act like you mean it. Because on Micah Parsons' podcast, The Edge, on Bleacher Report last year, you were saying the same thing, that you got to step up, that you got to be a leader. In my last video, I actually played that clip. Yo, you have to step up. You and Micah Parsons, you guys are now the veterans. Actually, Micah Parsons will be a veteran come his contract signing next year. But right now, you've signed your contract, CD. Dak Prescott has signed his second contract. So both of you guys are looked to as leaders on this team. How in the hell can you pitch a fit and act up in the end zone the way you did during that entire game? That is beyond me. And I don't even want to touch based on the fact that you skipped training camp because of your personal issues, your personal issues with the contract. Dak Prescott had personal issues with the contract, but he showed up every single day to collect his future pay. He showed up every single day to be there for the rookie players because they need him. He is a leader. He showed up every single day not knowing if he was going to get a contract. CD, honestly, you knew you were going to get a contract being the wide receiver one and the only wide receiver that we really can depend on in this Cowboys organization. I mean, Brandon Cooks, I love him and everything, but he is not the wide receiver one for this team. You are. So you have to act like it, C.D. Lamb. You got to pull your big boy pants up and act like a leader. Be the leader that you're being paid to be. C.D., I know the leadership role is not something that you are accustomed to. But the thing is, this is the National Football League. 
that's something that you're not accustomed to four years ago. You had to get accustomed to it. You had to get accustomed to being a wide receiver one in the NFL. You made that transition pretty well. Why can't you make the mental adjustment to become the leader of this team? Not the full-blown leader because, honestly, that's Jerry Jones. And we're not getting too much leadership out of Jerry Jones. And the unfortunate thing is, is that type of attitude trickles down. It trickles down from the owners to the head coach to the assistant coaches to to the players. People wonder why we have an issue with discipline at the Dallas Cowboys organization. It's because our owner doesn't have discipline. It gets me pissed off every single time I talk about a Cowboys nation. But how does it make you feel? I really want to know about that in the comments section. But as far as C.D. Sidarius Lamb, get your act together. Get your act together because if we go up to MetLife Stadium tomorrow and we get beat, oh my goodness, heads are going to roll in Cowboys Nation. I hope that heads are going to roll in the Cowboys organization. I hope some people lose their jobs if we lose to the New York Giants because we own them. Dak Prescott's record and the people that have been with Dak Prescott for this record is 12-2 and two against the New York Giants. We should not go up there and get beat. This should be one of the games where we buy a ticket and we are comfortable in the fact that we're going to get this dub this time. But the thing is, the Dallas Cowboys can't go to MedLife Stadium with that attitude because we are one and two right now and we can't beat anybody. That's the mentality that you got to have. We can't beat anybody, so we got to go in there and prove that we are the Dallas Cowboys. We got to go in there and prove that we can hang with the big boys. We got to go in there and prove that our players can play their assignments and not play hero ball and go in the run fits and gaps that they're not supposed to be in, Donovan Wilson. But this entire team needs to take accountability, Cowboys Nation. This entire team needs to take responsibility in playing hero ball. There's more than just Donovan Wilson playing hero ball. There's more than just one player that's not filling his assignment. There's more than one player that's getting beat by the opposing offense. We got to get it together. Otherwise, when the playoffs start, we are going to be at home thinking about the 2025 NFL offseason while everybody else is playing in the playoffs. Do you really want to be that team? I don't think so. Jerry Jones, do you really want your team out of playoff contention? If you don't, get your shit together. I've heard it on so many content creators' videos where they press the button and you say, get your damn act together. Well, Jerry, I'm going to say that to you. Get your damn act together. You, C.D. Lamb, get your damn act together. Micah Parsons, if you want to be a leader, go to these people. Stop calling them out in the media. Stop calling them out on your podcast. Be a leader and go to them in the locker room. If we didn't learn that from the Malik Hooker situation this past offseason, I don't know if we're ever going to learn it. CD, you are my number one wide receiver. You are Cowboys Nation's number one receiver. You gotta act like it. Not even just on game day. You have to act like it. You have to walk like a number one wide receiver. You have to talk like a number one wide receiver. You have to play like a number one wide receiver. And what we saw on the game against the Ravens, that is not what a number one wide receiver does unless you want to be considered a diva. CD, are you a diva? If you're not a diva, please let us know. Blink twice if you're not a diva, CD Lamb. But if you are a diva... You better change that shit up real quick because diva mentality is not something that we can tolerate in Cowboys Nation because we have 99 problems. We don't need to add 100. You are people's favorite player, dude. You are people's favorite player. And to act the way you acted in the Baltimore Ravens game, it just makes us shake our head, bro. It really does. I hope you can rebound off this. I hope you can gain your strength, your confidence. I hope you can gain it back, C.D. Lamb, because right now, the Ravens have it. The Ravens took your spirit. The Ravens took your will to play. Get it back, C.D. Lamb. Get it back before we have to go to MetLife Stadium. Because if we don't have you mentally on this team, we damn sure don't have you physically. 
This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan. What did you think about what I had to say about C.D. Lamb's interview? What do you have to say about C.D. Lamb's interview? Let's have an adult conversation in the comments section. If you're digging the content and want to help get it out to even more Dallas Cowboys fans, drop a like on this video and share it with your family and friends who are Cowboys fans. If you are DC for life and you still believe in C.D. Lamb, even though he threw a temper tantrum during the Ravens game, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell to be notified whenever I go live, release a video, podcast episode, or Madden 25 and college football 25 gameplay. Let this be a lesson to all you wide receivers in college right now that's in your senior year and you're looking to head to the NFL. It pays not to be a diva. Don't be a diva and be a cancer to your team and the locker room. CD Lamb, you got time to turn it around. And I hope you turn it around and use more action than words. This has been your man, the Angry Cowboys fan, and I'm out. Dang, Angry Cowboys fan, you done made it through the entire video. But if you want more content, you can definitely go to this video right here. Or if you want the latest episode of the Angry Cowboys fan podcast, you can go right here. But whatever you do, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. But remain DC for life.